welcome everyone. So today we've got one of those beautiful logical live streams planned for you guys. So uh, first I'm going to do a quick cap, quick recap over what is Dalmon doing. It's going to be a special feature, a featurette. Okay guys, so what I've got today for you is the hero party mode. We're going to be putting in a whole bunch of multicolored damage pulses along the bow. Going to go along the edge of the hull. This is obviously one of the ones from the Smedit Masterclass. We kind of did this one just to show off a bunch of the features in Smedit. And it's taken from the same uh, model that I converted for my hero class. So yeah, I'm going to get into it. I've got a bunch of damaged computers here, so I'm going to get started. Okay, so what I've managed to get done is a single block slave with a beam computer for extra range to each of my damage, uh, damage pulses. We have a damage pulse in each of the colors or each of the RGBs and of course purple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire them across the bow. You can just about see them in their little dots. There's one. So. I'm going to give them a go in a minute. We're just going to put a quick clock in and uh, test it out. So I've constructed a 10 second clock and this is to fire off every single time the reload is ready. So if I just test it, if I hit this button here, you'll see the dot go down and hopefully I did it right. You should always check your circuitry. So this is a good way to do it. And as you can see, bing, that's good to go. I can turn that off. Let it go through. I'm going to do the next set step. We're going to come out of enlightenment real quick, just to recap for everyone. Oh. So what I've done is I've built uh, this clock. We put in now a brake switch, which I've demonstrated on YouTube, but we've actually made a, a, a uh, in a previous video. But we've actually put an addition on here, which makes it a single action circuit. So you turn it on with the green, and this will activate your brake. And then a half second later, we'll put a pulse through, and here it comes. And around it goes. And it'll continue to do that until you either use your brake switch, or until you use the single button again. So we can turn that off now. And wait for the pulse to get round. And as you can see, it'll terminate here. And that's pretty much what we're going to use to um, fire off all these weapons. So I'm going to hook them up now. Okay, so what I've done is I've hooked up the logic for all the weapon systems. I've set it so that the plex lights and the crystals are on a uh, stagger. And um, we've got, a, like I say, a delay circuit here. Oh, God, I've got another circuit here. There's loads of stuff going on. I've also hooked up the main trigger to this switch and also an area trigger in there. So let's see what happens when Yelby walks through the door. Uh-oh, there it goes. It went off once, five seconds. <laughs> half of them worked, half of them didn't. I still gotta do some work by the looks of it. Or did I run out of power? Nope, I'm not out of power. It's working. Except for that. Only half of them are going off on one side. Okay, let's have a look and find out why. So one thing that's actually quite nice when you're troubleshooting your logic circuit is the fact that it's so visual. When you're in here, I can see I've got my brake switch and my start switch is on. So I can pretty much just watch this pulse and follow it around. So let's trace the circuit here. It comes around this delay comes back down and then it's going to feed these so blink okay so it's going to feed them and then it's coming in to feed this and bing and as you can see I've hooked it up to this side but I haven't hooked up this timer to that terminal I believe yep yep there we go now it's fixed just like that just check yep there they go so like I say, I can continue this and put in like, you know, even more of these things, run them all on a, a staged time. I think you get the idea, guys. There it is. Hey, Bearish. 
Welcome to the stream. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did indeed. So there we go. So I wonder what else we can do. What else can we do to make it more party-like? Lasers. Lasers. Missiles. All of the above. Lasers, flat-earth missiles. Lasers, missiles. AMCs in all directions. AMCs going everywhere. Interesting. Ooh, you need to have those be like... Uh, oh, like wait! How about... How about multicolored upward-facing shotgun AMCs? That's exactly what I was talking about, man. Yeah, that would be nice. Along the deck. Okay, let's get to it. So, guys, I'm going to come out of enlightenment mode again to provide you with another up-to-date update. We have an additional clock coming off of the switch. It's now looking a little bit more complicated than maybe it did initially. We have a sort of heart shape of logic with all the colors. Isn't that pretty? I'm just going to have to get a GIF. Sorry about the frame rate drop, guys. That's beautiful. It's just pulsing. Pulsing away. I'm going to put more lights and doors on the uh, clocks to make them look more pretty. But uh, that'll come in a minute. So we have the first array, which is powering the bubbles. They run every five seconds, alternating. So we've got a 10 second clock here with a break. It's all running off the same break timer with a toggle switch. Oh, and welcome back, Farrington. Welcome back. And uh, thanks to everybody watching right now. So up we go and let's see what we've got. Is it firing? Oh, it's firing. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Dude, is that the shotgun? Shotgun, yep. crap. <laughs> That's really nice. It showing up for pretty much. I'm sad, cool. no, Oh, sorry, bro. That's happening as we speak. Okay. Now I feel the party I'm ship fine. is running. I'm gonna go awesome park job. up at the beginning and That's get a good a shot. Yep. Take a uh, take a peek. Status update. Oh yeah, true. We should do an update. I've been going ham. Ah, welcome, right, Kupu. Right. right. So then, a little bit of a <laughs> update. We've got most of it working. It's firing AMCs upwards in a shotgun. It's got damage pulse beams running. Um. And it's firing broadsides allegedly every 15 seconds, but I still need to check that. As you can see, they're firing, but they all seem to be going... Which is fine, they are all broadsiding, no, huh? Oh, they're absolutely. Just, yeah, yeah, they're just not... Gift time. <laughs> okay. What else have I got? Okay, guys. So we found the problem. The problem was actually a really simple one in the end. If you notice the face position of the master computers, they're pointing this way. If I look on this side, they're not opposing. So guess who forgot to put mirror cubes on? This guy. <laughs> so I'm just going to fix that now. So this shouldn't, this shouldn't, this, sh I, this might cause some problems. So I'm actually going to save it first. Okay, so here it is, the party, party hero. Completely undetailed. We've just done it as a little bit of a logic experiment. So, um, I'm just going to double check that I did keep that connect. Yeah, I disconnected it. Haha. <laughs> so, we'll just show you what we did at the back here. Got a whole bunch of weapons computers, D1000s with D1000 slaves, just single block systems, all hooked up to different colors going down the ship. And then on the inside edge of the shell, we've just got the launchers put, like I say, single blocks for show. And, um,. This is all hooked up to the clock. 
So we get a nice rainbow cloud coming out of this thing. Now I did forget to reorient those computers, but it still looks awesome, so we're gonna leave it. Now, Yelby, are you still there, bro? I see him. I see the Yelby, but we don't hear the Yelby. I think he's I think he's missing presumed, so what I'm gonna do is take that block out. I'm going to float up there. Oh, did I just... Nope. But look at this. The logic systems are really awesome to look at. Hang on, where am I? Can I get to about here? Get a good view of it all. Another GIF. And like I say, if I now go up through that little hole I made... Whoop! Here's Yelby. Let's turn it off. Off. There we go, look at that. Off. No more party mode. Yeah, I love the gifts. Okay, so here we go. Boom. Party mode, engage! Oh no, what happened? Did I turn it off as soon as I turned it on? Yeah, I double triggered it. Let's watch it. Watch the light. Hey, party mode on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything just starts firing. Well, that's a success. So, yeah. I think we're going to go and visit Ribbon Stream. I am going to turn off the, um, the missile part of it, though, because that's just not fair. If they're all in work in progress ships. So... And well, if you guys want to uh, find out what I'm building, work in progress ships is they have to at least look complete on the outside. So we have our brake timer. Turn it all off. There we go. Get in the core. Done. Well, I am safe and ready. So let's go visit that lineup. So we're just coming by Ryben's lineup. Let's do a little turn and head back down the line. Try not to go under it because I don't want to blast them. You'll be going to Ryben. I'll be putting a link in his uh, in the chat in just a second. So yeah, we're going to be crossing over now onto Ryben's stream. So I've finished making this party mode. I mean, it could do some negative shell, but I'm going to take a break. So I'll just take a look at the chat and see what I've been missing. And I'll uh, chuck a link down there for you.